Hi, welcome. If you're watching this, you're either already in my valuation class and it's probably too late to get out, or you're thinking about coming into my valuation class. And you're probably wondering, what is this class all about? So I think the best way I have of describing the class is to first tell you what it's not about. This is not a financial modeling class. You will not see Excel spreadsheets in the class. You will not become an Excel ninja by the end of this class. We will use spreadsheets and models, don't get me wrong, but they will be our tools, not the other way around. Second, this is not a class just about valuing high-profile publicly traded companies. Again, don't get me wrong. We will value the Teslas, the Apples, the Facebooks, the Googles of the world, but we won't stop there. So this is first a class about valuing any kind of asset. It's not just companies, it's not just publicly traded stock, it's not just private businesses, it's trademarks and copyrights and perhaps the rest of your career. It is a class about valuing any kind of asset. That said though, this class will probably surprise you in two things we will do. The first is we will tell a lot of stories. You're saying storytelling? I thought that was in a strategy class. You'd be surprised at how much a valuation is storytelling. A good valuation to me is a bridge between stories and numbers, and we will talk about how stories connect numbers and make your valuations internally consistent. Second, we will talk about faith and action. Strange words to use in the context of valuation, but think about it. When you value a company, to be able to act on that value, you need faith. And that takes a lot of work. And one of the things I will talk about in this class is what we need to do to acquire that faith, in, enough faith in our own valuations to be able to act on them. So as you get ready for this class, what do you need to bring in? Not much. I'm not going to ask incredible amounts of pre-work of you. If you bring in a basic understanding of accounting, at least reading a financial statement, that's good. If you can bring in some assessment of statistics, an understanding of how to use statistics to make sense of data, that's even better. And finally, some basic finance will help. So if you've never seen the capital asset pricing model or you've forgotten all about it, you might want to review it very quickly because I'm not going to spend a great deal of this class on coming up with the justification for using betas or equity risk premiums because we're going to dive in and apply. So by the end of this class, here's what I hope you will be able to do. I hope you will be able to work on your weak side. What does that mean? If you're a natural number cruncher, I hope you develop enough storytelling skills or enough faith in your imagination that you become an, a, an imaginative number cruncher. If you're a natural storyteller, I hope you get enough comfort with the numbers that you become a disciplined storyteller. So I hope to see you in the class, and that should be in a few days. It was good talking to you.